Hi, I'm Sarah from The Upcoming. Such a pleasure to meet you. Um, congratulations on this amazing film in this class satire, this has been a dark thriller, um, a lot of absurdity. What can audiences expect from the menu? Um, yeah, they can expect a ride, hopefully, and, uh, you know, a big cinematic ride. That was my first attraction to the script, um, in that all those, all that satirical comment, all that, that comedic element, the thriller, the dark thriller genre element, it all seems to, or at least I hope, come together to make this quite unique tone. Um, and that combined with just great structure to the storytelling and constant surprises, I think it's kind of unique. I really like it. I'd watch it. <laughs> And you seem to tread, the, tread this tightrope between kind of really having, you know, being revered of the of the art form of, of you know, sort of uh, Michelin-starred cuisine, while also poking fun of it. And you've gone into so much detail to, to create that authenticity with Dominique uh, Crenn. So tell us a bit about that and, and, and getting that tone right. Yeah, well, I, when I dove into it, into the research for that whole molecular gastronomy, it was with a certain sardonic, oh, let's have a poke at this. And I, you know, I stay true to that. I'm not a foodie. I'm much more Margot, Annie character as the, the fish out of water in that environment but I genuinely did come away with a huge respect for the humans um, the the artists who are constantly striving to evolve that art form and just push it and push it and the people that work in those restaurants it's just an extraordinary kind of hard place to work and it's relentless you know 52 weeks a year on a movie I get to call rap and go and have a beer and they don't get to do that so I, I ended up kind of having to not eat my words a bit but certainly have newfound respect for that art and of course, you're no stranger to making unlikable characters, well, making us care about them from working on Succession. And you've done it again here. And, and I guess also down to an incredible cast, Annie Taylor Joy and his heart and Ralph Fiennes right at the center. How did you get all these people together and work with them to, to really nail this? It was, it was a total pleasure because it's such strong material. Obviously, you get you know good people who are attracted to it. Um, in terms of the, the nuance of that, finding the, uh, I'm kind of fascinated constantly with finding the underbellies and the context of characters' bad behaviour, character flaws, which of course are universal. Um, and so it's a lot of conversations in the rehearsal room with the cast about just, yeah, why are these bad characters behaving that way? What innocence have they lost? What choices have they made to take them in this direction? And how can we, how can we peel that back and find, find the innocence in them? Uh, that's a kind of obsession with me with characters. Just very quickly, next next season of Succession, I rewatched the other bits recently. Just such high quality TV and just so right for our time. What can they expect? Uh, yeah, more of the same, really, but you know, there's a lovely gear change coming up. But then, in terms of just where we find the characters, uh, I can't wait for people to see it. I really can't. I'm editing at, at the moment and we're still shooting. Um, but yeah, I'm really proud of it. Fantastic. So lovely to speak to you and really enjoy the evening. Thank you.